inner consciousness is harmless, and the majority of these people are guilty of a superior spirit of cynicism if they are decentralized from the lower self in the free world, and if they are focused in heaven, thereby enabling the heavenly son of man who is the son of God to lead the heavenly life when far from the heavenly realm, as an old Christian mystic, long forgotten, used to say, and his words have been remembered by the Master M, and thus recalled to my attention. Another school of thought, branding themselves untruthfully as occultists, are equally in error. They were, or rather profess the work, with the centers, and unfortunately for them nature protects them often from themselves. They endeavor consciously to vitalize the centers, to burn away the protective web, and to raise the fires of matter before the fire of spirit has combined with the fire of the soul. They then fall victim to premature stimulation of the fires of substance before the balancing of the forces can take place. Disease, insanity, and many neurotic conditions, plus serious pathological conditions, then occur. Some of the glands become overactive, others are overlooked, and the entire glandular system and the dependent nervous system are in a state of complete imbalance. Disciples need to learn to focus their attention upon the reality and upon the factors of primary spiritual importance. When they do this, the energies in the head, the correct use of the spinal area with it, needed centers, and the awakening of the basic center and its consequent fusion with the higher energies will be an automatic and perfectly safe happening. The orderly rhythm of the glandular system and the free, safe use of the controlled nervous system will then be possible. The energy, projected from the center, via the nadis, will be safely related and brought into a synthetic functioning within the body, and the disciple will experience not only a fully awakened consciousness, and a brain which is ever intelligently receptive, but a constant inflow of spiritual life. There will then be that perfect balance and perfect self to characterize a master of the wisdom. Knowledge concerning the endocrine or ductless glands is as yet in an embryonic stage. Much is known anent the glands connected with the sacral center and about the thyroid gland, but today, naturally, the medical profession does not admit that they are affected the activity of the copyright copyright 1998 rules of trust. 128, a treatise on the seven rays, volume 4, esoteric healing. Non-activity of the centers, or that a line of least resistance exists between the sacral center and the throat center. Something is known not much about the pituitary body, but its extreme importance is it affects the psychological response of the person is not adequately grasped. Nothing is known, factually speaking, about the pineal or the thymus gland, and this book is neither the head center nor the heart center is awakened in undeveloped man, or even in the average citizen. That there is a considerable wealth of knowledge and then the sacral center is the source of physical creation and the conditioning effects of the thyroid gland is due to the fact that both these centers are awakened in the average man and when the functioning is adequate and the necessary interplay is established you then have a highly sexed individual who is also a creative artist along some artistic lines. This is very frequently seen, as you well know. 
When the Adhi center and its externalization, the pituitary body, are also active, and the relation between the three centers, sacral, throat and Adhi center, is awakened and beginning to function, and definite conscious relationship is being set up between it and the other centers dependent upon Ray, upon conscious objective and training then you will have the practical mystic, the humanitarian and the occultist. Students should remember that there is both an upward and a downward trend of energy within the entire structure of centers, where the aspirant and the disciple are concerned. One, the upward trend, producing transmutation, from the sacral center to the throat center. Physical creation is transmuted into artistic creativity. From the solar center to the heart center, individual, emotional consciousness is transmuted into group consciousness. From the base of the spine to the head center, material force is transmuted into spiritual energy. From any or all of the five spinal centers to the Adhna center, incoordinated living is transmuted into personality integration. From the six centers in relationship into the highest head center, personality activity is transmuted into spiritual living. This is a wide generalization, and the process is not carried forward in any sequential fashion or smoothly and in order as the tabulation above might suggest. The process involved is spread over many lives of unconscious transmutation in the earlier stages, and is a result of bitter experience and of conscious effort in the later stages, and becomes increasingly dynamic and effective as the various stages upon the path area trodden by the aspirant. The five rays with which a disciple has to work, two major conditioning rays and three subsidiary rays, have a definite active effect. Karmic adjustments provide opportunity or hindrance, and the intricacies of the entire process within the relatively limited experience of the disciple are so confusing whilst in process that all that he can do is to grasp the general outline as here given and not pay too much attention to the immediate factual detail. On file. Copyright copyright 1998 Lucas Trust. 129. A treatise on the seven rays. Volume 4. Esoteric healing. Two. The downward trend. Producing transformation. Once the head center is awakening and the disciple is consciously active in the work of directing the energies to the centers and thereby governing his personality life, there is a scientific undertaking of energizing the centers in a certain order rhythm which is again determined by the rage, by circumstance and by karma, thus all the bodily energies are swung into correct spiritual activity. With the process involved we cannot hear deal, beyond pointing out that this downward trend can be roughly regarded as falling into three stages. One, the stage of energizing the creative life, via the throat center is just bringing. A, the head center and the throat center, B, these two in the sacral center. C, all three, consciously and simultaneously, into conscious relations. This relation, when properly established, will solve the individual problem of sex, and without recourse to either inhibition or suppression, but by bringing about right control and making the disciple, at the same time, creative in a worldly sense, and therefore is used to this element. Two, the stage of energizing the conscious life of relationship via the heart center, thus bringing A. The head center and the heart center, B. These two in the solar plexus center, 